Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailAmount.com and today I'm testing and reviewing a product that I've wanted to kind of review for a long time. Uh, I keep seeing them online and I keep seeing them all over the place. They're the inflatable hammocks. This is the Wind Pouch Go. So a company contacted me just a little while ago and wanted me to review this for them. So I'm going to get it out of the, uh, the stuff sack here. As you can tell just from my shirt, it's super windy today on the Central Coast, uh, as it always is. So just a really windy day today. So I'm going to set this thing up. I should have no trouble setting this thing up in the wind. And I'm going to show you how it sets up and why you should potentially want to buy one of these. All right, so here we go. We're gonna just get this thing out of its stuff sack. It comes with little uh, stakes right here. I have not set this up before, so this is the first time, first run for me. It comes with, okay, I'm sorry, it comes with one stake. And it's like a tri-stake too, so that's kind of interesting design. Uh, but it has its own little pouch for the stake, which is pretty cool. And there's also something else in here. Okay, so there's also a little carabiner with a bottle opener, because that's, that's important. You gotta have a bottle opener. Stick that back in its little stuff sack here. All right, so it has a big buckle on it right here. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. Let's see what this thing's all about. It's got twin pockets, so one on each side, just like that. Oh, you can see that. So you have a big pocket here and a big pocket here. So the idea here is you kind of just kind of just drag it like that. And once you get it full, you kind of just cinch this down. It's kind of like kind of like that. Now granted it's gonna take some practice, but that's the overall design. Open this bad boy up. That's cool. You just kind of tell it's like a giant wind sock. So the wind's blowing pretty good right now. So I'm gonna seal that off just like so. Nice and tight. And I'll use this buckle right here to secure it. it. Does have twin little mesh pockets right here. So you can put your beer in there or a book or something like that. It has a built-in pillow, which I like. It says you're not supposed to jump on it or anything like that. So naturally, I just want to jump on it. But this thing is pretty awesome. You know, if you're like backyard barbecue or if you're at a music festival somewhere or just car camping and you wanted like a really cool chair to kind of just chill in, this is a great way to do it. It's not bad. It's pretty easy to inflate. Extremely easy on a windy day like today. But yeah, I like it. Little on the heavy side, it's not something I would backpack with, but car camping, sure, why not? It's pretty solid. Like the pockets right here, easy to get to. Built-in pillow. And it is pretty comfortable, you know? I can put myself in the middle of this thing, or I can kind of just kind of spread out to one side if I want to. Now, getting in and out of this thing is, is hard if you're going this way, so um, for me, the best way is to kind of just roll out of it, so kind of like that. But you can just see that this thing is like wanting to blow away on me. That's how windy it is today. Look at that. I'll just hold on to the pocket. You can see how windy it is today. Crazy, right? I do like the giant logo on the side here. It says Wind Pouch Go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this buckle. And the way this buckle works is you have your twin guys right here but it's not going to release until you release this one there's a secondary right here so that's going to release and then you can release it and once you do that basically just open this thing back up make sure you open up both sides because it is twin i do like the plastic inside here i don't know if you can see that I'll try to move over here that's plastic on the inside, so that's going to help with the uh, air escaping. Open that up all the way, and then we seal it. 
Make sure all those three panels are together. That's like that. Crazy windy. Oh, it's like a big old freaking pool raft. It's not too bad though. <laughs> you just kind of lay in it. Just like that. Done. Super comfortable. I like it. All right, guys. So that's my review of the Wind Pouch Go. As I said, if you're in an area where it's super windy or even not, it's pretty easy to just kind of swir swish it back and forth a little bit to get it filled with air. It's a great little lounging kind of a thing, you know. It's a great little lounging type of a couch, really. It's a uh, inflatable couch, more than a hammock. Um, I like it. It's super comfortable. Uh, you do have to make sure you get enough air in it. If not, you're kind of on the ground. It's not something I would sleep in but I would totally take a nap in it. I wouldn't sleep in it overnight if I was camping. But yeah, this is coming with me on my camping trips though, that's for sure. So if you guys like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down in my comment section. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.